Hi Pisces, welcome to another reading by the Blessing Foundry Tarot. Today's read is going to be a general read. Look at and see what messages Spirit has to um, share with you today. More guidance and advice. Thank you guys so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes and your comments. I really appreciate it. And thank you so much to those people who you know donated or purchased readings from me. I appreciate your support and and your trust and you know doing readings for you. I'm very grateful. All right, guides, guardians, angels, and sisters, 5D light and above, please come near. Please connect with the Pisces Collective, the viewers and subscribers of this channel, their guides, guardians, angels, and ancestors, and higher self to get the precise message for Pisces on their journey right now. What does Pisces need to know? Please provide the guidance and direction and advice and clarity for them. Please hold on one, guys. All right. Let's see, Pisces. All right, Spirit, what message do you have for Pisces today? What message do you have for Pisces today, Spirit? What do you want them to know? What message do you have for Pisces today? What message do you have for Pisces today? Any other messages for Pisces today, Spirit? Any other messages for Pisces today? Any other messages for Pisces today? Okay. So let's see what we have, Pisces. It's looking promising. Let's see. Okay. So as I was, the cards were coming out for this reading, I had a couple things um, come out. When I saw this, it's like cutting out distraction, cutting out difficulties, um, removing any kind of barriers or restrictions you may have um, that are chaining you down. Okay, so here we have, um, you know, the burdens and restrictions working towards removing those. We'll get clarification for these as well. But overall, Pisces, you know, we see happiness of a new beginning, you know, having emotional fulfillment and having passionate new growth and new starts. We have the Five of Wands and the Queen of Swords. So this can be, you know, conflict and strife and cutting that out, cutting out, you know, what's in the way of your happiness and moving forward out of confinement, out of self-restrictions to move forward to produce results in your life and, and no longer be enchained. We'll get um, a clarification on these. Let's see. Guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, five feet light and above, please come here. Please provide Pisces with clarification for this reading. What is the Ten of Cups here, please? Let's see. So, okay, so we have, I the cards were mixed up, and I had the Seven of Cups in this deck here, um, which, you know, everything happens for a reason. So let me see. I'm just getting, you know, be careful if you have distractions that might be robbing you of your happiness. Okay, so here we go. Spirit, um, what is this Ten of Cups for Pisces? What do you want Pisces to know about the Ten of Cups, please? What do you want Pisces to know about this Ten of Cups? Please be clear. Okay, so we clarifying the Ten of Cups, we get the High Priestess and the Seven of Wands. So standing in your courage and using your intuition, you know, to, to guard your happiness. You know, so so your happiness right now, as always, right, is is important, you know, that you protect your happiness and, and move towards your happiness and and you 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 know um what might be getting in the way of your happiness and you're taking a firm posture, firm stance about not letting, you know, not letting that devilish um energy invade your happiness. What is the ace of wands, please, spirit? What is the Ace of Wands, please, Spirit? What do you want Pisces to know about the Ace of Wands? What is this new beginning? What is this Ace of Wands? What is this Ace of Wands for Pisces, please, Spirit? What is this Ace of Wands for Pisces? What is this Ace of Wands for Pisces, please, Spirit? Thank you. And we get the King of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, and the Ten of Swords. So, you know, the, the worst is behind you, Pisces, and there's new off new offerings, new um, proposals or opportunities coming your way, in fact, that will 
you know, lead to this happy new beginning. And here we see the, the King of Pentacles. So this can either be a, a masculine, a, a earth energy person, um, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, or it can be, you know, an, an offer coming forward that will put you in more stability and security. You know, the King, the King of Pentacles is also a card of wealth, of, of creating wealth for yourself. What is this Five of Wands? What is this? Thank you. So, you know, clarifying the Five of Wands, we get the card. So in fact, Pisces, you know, you are moving away from conflict into a more positive position for yourself. What is this Queen of Swords, please? What is this Queen of Swords? What is this Queen of Swords, please? Yeah, the things that aren't resonating with you, for example, if you have a person in your life and, you know, you're okay to keep them in your life, but every time you're around them, you're just not feeling right. You're just like, this isn't, this doesn't really feel good. You know, this is the change that's coming. You know, that kind of feeling, not necessarily, it doesn't have to be with a person. It can be situations or things that you're doing in your life that you know don't, they aren't a match anymore for you. Like it's not having that thing or that person in your life isn't, isn't serving your best interest. And so it's that positive movement forward away from those things. And and the devil is in fact those things, right? What is the queen of swords, please, spirit? What is this queen of swords? Oops, hold on guys. What is the queen of swords for Pisces? What do you want Pisces to know about the queen of swords? What is the queen of swords? What is the queen of swords, please? Spirit. What is the Queen of Swords, please? One card to clarify the Queen of Swords. What is the Queen of Swords, please, Spirit? What is the Queen of Swords? One, thank you. So when I was shuffling, I was seeing clearly, Pisces, you're seeing with clarity and logic and using your discernment to see where you have been, you know, held back or where you've been putting self-imposed restrictions on yourself. And you're working or will be working to free yourself from the burdens. And clarifying the Queen of Swords, we get the Magician. So a common, we have the sword in both of these cards, which is calling to me to say, you know, your mental energy. The, the Magician is a card of manifesting and, you know, be keenly aware of your thoughts at this point in time. Because your thoughts are, are strongly influencing what is manifesting into your life. What is this Eight of Swords for Pisces, please, Spirit? What is this Eight of Swords, please, for Pisces? What is this Eight of Swords for Pisces, please, Spirit? What is this Eight of Swords for Pisces? Please clarify this Eight of Swords. What is Pisces? So one more card to clarify the Eight of Swords. One more card to clarify the Eight of Swords. One more card to clarify the Eight of Swords. One more card to clarify the Eight of Swords. Thank you. Yeah, okay. So what first came to me with this is clearly you, you may have been feeling constrained due to some type of loss or heartache that occurred in your life. You want, and that might in fact be the five of wands, the conflict, the strife, the difficulty, you know, that you're seeing clearly that you no longer serves your good, cutting those people or things or situations out. And what we have here with the eight of swords um, is in fact, you know, the reason you may be in the eight of swords is due to, is a reaction from having heartache or disappointment or some type of loss. Um, but what also came to me here, Pisces, and this isn't, you might not like this message I'm about to say, but you know, I'm, I'm here for truth. Um, and, and then we get the sun card and that's enlightenment and truth and, and seeing the truth in the situation is recognize your own role in a situation that might've caused you heartache and loss, right? Sometimes even though a person is doing a particular behavior or saying particular things or a situation ended a particular way, you know, it's, it's also on us to be accountable for our own actions 
and to be truthful with ourselves because out of that truth and um, accountability we hold ourselves to, we are able to grow as individuals if we take responsibility for our own actions. So that's what this is really saying is clearly, you know, you may have been in a place where you felt um, like you were held back or like stopped or prevented, but you know, and it may have been due to heartache, but look at the truth in the situation. And what is the three of pentacles in this reading, please spirit? What do you want Pisces to know about the three of pentacles, please? What is the three of pentacles, please spirit? What is the three of pentacles here for Pisces? What do you want Pisces to know about the three of pentacles? Okay, five of swords, but I'm not taking it because it didn't fully come out. What is the three of pentacles for Pisces? What do you want Pisces to know about the three of pentacles? Please be clear, spirit. Please speak to Pisces. What is this three of pentacles? What is this three of pentacles? What is this three of pentacles for Pisces? Please, spirit. Thank you. Is the three of cup, or I'm sorry, I stand corrected, the knight of cups. So, you know, here we see that you're working on moving out of the restrictions and cutting off this devil energy. And that's because you're moving towards emotional contentment to have your new beginning. So, you, so what you're working on here is freeing yourself from self-imposed restrictions and um, dependencies. What is this devil card, please, Spirit? What is this devil card? What is this devil card? What do you want Pisces to know about the devil card, please? One more card to clarify the devil card. One more card to clarify the devil card. One more card to clarify the devil card, please, Spirit. One more card to clarify the devil card. <clears throat> Pardon me. One more card to clarify the devil card, please, Spirit. Thank you. Yeah, so you're moving forward. Pisces, you know, we, this reading has been about, you know, maintaining your happiness and your joy to move towards a new beginning. You know, you're moving out of a cycle, you know, you're moving away from things that are cause you, that cause strife and difficulty and burden. You're seeing the truth in this situation to not only to what people may have done or what situations may have occurred, but also understanding your own role in the situation. You're working to move forward into a new emotional beginning, which is um, clarified even here because we, we see the devil is clarified by the fool and the page of wands. The page of wands, I'm not getting a message for this, but what I'm getting is a page is um, the beginning, right? The beginning of moving forward. So I think what we're seeing is you're letting go of the obsessions, of the restrictions, of what's holding you back or making you feel chained. Um, you, we have the Ten of Swords here. So the worst is behind you and you, you clearly want to move forward. You want to move into positive energy and leave what isn't serving you behind. You know, stand your ground and protect, you know, guard your happiness. And here we have the Fool card with the Page of Wands, which is in fact taking that leap of faith, you know, and, and beginning to move forward away from, you know, whatever has been occurring in your life, be it people or situations or even self-imposed beliefs into a more positive um, cycle. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at these, but I didn't ask. Okay, no, I will take them. So what we have here, Pisces, is we have a card of emotional loss. So we've seen in this reading that we have the Ten of Swords, the worst is behind us, whatever has occurred, you know, whether it's the strife or arguments or contentious situations, you know, whatever the emotional loss is that you identify that's kept you in a self-imposed prison because maybe you're not healed yet or hadn't been, right? Perhaps now, you know, you are already starting to move into your new beginning, stepping into the new cycle of the happiness and the new beginning. And here, you know, in fact, we do see the emotional loss represented and having the clarity around, you know, what has occurred. So you can, in fact, work to move forward towards your new emotional beginning. And then we have the emotional loss that um, shows that again. And then we have the solar plexus. 
which with the eight of swords and the solar plexus, the solar plexus um, and the color yellow um, are about being self-empowered. Yellow is a, co a color of empowerment and, and really, you know, having that strength within yourself to have the confidence. And the solar plexus is, um, we feel, um, it's like that gut feeling, right? So you know, Pisces, you understand the different dynamics that have been playing out in your life and what feels good, right? Um, you feel that in your solar plexus, what feels good and what does not. And that will, you know, we have the high priestess, listen, um, feeling what's occurring in your solar plexus will help you, will guide your intuition to where you need to stand your ground to protect your happiness. And then prosperity begins. So yes, clear, clearly, Pisces, we have the king of pentacles clarifying the ace of wands. So clearly spirit is saying, Pisces, by, by pursuing your happiness and understanding what no longer serves your highest good, you know, understanding what occurred within the emotional loss and growing from that and working to build towards your new emotional fulfillment, you know, and leaving behind the devil energy and taking the, the beginning steps towards your your leap of faith, your your fresh start. You know, prosperity is beginning for you, Pisces. One card of guidance and advice for Pisces, please, Spirit. One card of guidance and advice for Pisces. One card of guidance. Thank you so much. Wow, yes, this fits so well, Pisces. Water your garden, nourishment, body care, tenderness, and rest. And here, within this dynamic, we do, in fact, see... Um, that this may in fact be, have taken a lot of you to you know see the situation clearly to come away from disappointments or loss or arguments that aren't serving your highest good and to you know take a stand in your own life to move towards your happiness and you your new beginning so you can have a new emotional start and and have that prosperity in your life whether it's material emotional or otherwise, right? And here, Spirit is saying, you know, don't forget to take care of yourself. Don't forget self-love. You know, make sure that you're being kind to yourself and make sure you're giving you um, what you need. That's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope it helps. God bless.